Good morning, world. How are you today? I wanted to talk about one of my hobbies today, or rather a subsection of a hobby. I love gardening and consider myself a hobby gardener. I don't take it too seriously, and my goal is not to maximize crop yields. My goal is to watch things grow. My job takes up a lot of my time too, so I keep it small and manageable. I was looking for companion plants to have in my garden, and milkweed was especially appealing since it attracts local pollinators. And I ended up gaining a second hobby, raising monarch butterflies. And when I mention raising monarch butterflies, I simply mean observing them in their natural habitat. Due to the risks of spreading disease, limiting healthy genetic diversity, and bypassing natural selection, the National Wildlife Federation does not support the rearing of monarch caterpillars in captivity or the mass release of commercially farmed butterflies. So I thought it would be cool to create an educational video about monarch butterflies using footage I've captured in my own yard and garden. All the information I'm using in this voiceover is coming from World Wildlife Fund and National Wildlife Federation. I'll have links to everything that I've used in the description down below so you guys can educate yourselves further. There's a lot more information on those websites. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button with notifications on so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Monarch butterflies embark on a marvelous migratory phenomenon. They travel between 1,200 and 2,800 miles or more from the United States and Canada to central Mexican forests. There, the butterflies hibernate in the mountain forests, where a less extreme climate provides them a better chance to survive. The monarch butterfly is known by scientists as Danius plexippus, which in Greek literally means sleepy transformation. The name evokes the species' ability to hibernate and metamorphize. Adult monarch butterflies possess two pairs of brilliant orange-red wings, featuring black veins and white spots along the edges. Males who possess distinguishing black dots on the veins of their wings are slightly bigger than females. Each adult butterfly only lives about four to five weeks. These tiny creatures have the most highly evolved migratory pattern of any known species of their kind, but this unique phenomenon is under threat. Climate change threatens to disrupt the monarch butterfly's annual migration pattern by affecting weather conditions in both wintering grounds and summer breeding grounds. Colder and wetter winters could be lethal to these creatures, and hotter, drier summers could shift suitable habitats north. World Wildlife Fund's 2013 report from Mexico showed that the number of monarch butterflies wintering there was at its lowest in 20 years. In the U.S., monarchs need places to reproduce and feed. However, herbicide use is decreasing the availability of their primary food source, the milkweed plant. Monarchs, like all butterflies, have a different diet during their larval caterpillar phase than they do as winged adults. As caterpillars, monarchs feed exclusively on the leaves of milkweed. Milkweed produces glycoside toxins to deter animals from eating them. But monarchs have evolved immunity to these toxins. As they feed, monarch caterpillars store up the toxins in their body, making them taste bad, which in turn deters their predators. The toxins remain in their system even after metamorphosis, protecting them as adult butterflies as well. As adults, monarchs feed on nectar from a wide range of blooming native plants, including milkweed. Monarchs lay their eggs on milkweed, their only caterpillar host plant. It takes three to five days for the egg to hatch. After hatching and consuming their empty egg case, the caterpillars grow and molt several times over roughly a two-week period and then form a chrysalis in which they undergo metamorphosis.
After approximately another two weeks within the chrysalis, they emerge as adult butterflies. The monarch population has declined by approximately 90% since the 1990s. Monarchs face habitat loss and fragmentation in the United States and Mexico. Over 90% of the grassland ecosystems have been lost. Pesticides are also a danger. Herbicides kill both native nectar plants where adult monarchs feed, as well as the milkweed their caterpillars need as host plants. Climate change alters the timing of migration as well as weather patterns, posing a risk to monarchs during migration and while overwintering. Most adult monarchs only live for a few weeks, searching for food in the form of flower nectar, for mates, and for milkweed on which to lay their eggs. The last generation that hatches in late summer delays sexual maturity and undertakes a spectacular fall migration, one of the few insects to do so. This migratory generation can live upward of eight months. After mating, and egg laying, the adult butterflies die and the northward migration is continued by their offspring. It takes three to five generations to repopulate the rest of the United States and southern Canada until the final generation of the year hatches and does the return journey to the overwintering grounds. The monarch migration is one of the greatest phenomena in the natural world. Monarchs know the correct direction to migrate even though the individuals that migrate have never made the journey before. They follow an internal compass that points them in the right direction each spring and fall. A single monarch can travel hundreds or even thousands of miles. The National Wildlife Federation recommends that the best way to help monarchs is by restoring their natural habitat by planting native milkweeds and nectar plants, eliminating pesticides, and encouraging others to adopt these practices. Planting locally native species is the best option for helping monarchs because monarchs co-evolved with the native plants and their life cycles are in sync with each other. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope this inspired you to grow a pesticide, herbicide-free monarch habitat, or a habitat for any of your local pollinator insects. Pollinator insects are great for your garden, great for all the other plants, great for the entire ecosystem. And if you made it this far in this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And until then, happy gardening.